Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to CNN, and this is about a Colorado officer who placed handcuffed suspect in a vehicle that was hit by a train is found guilty of misdemeanors but acquitted of a felony. The article is by Andy Rose, and it says a Colorado police officer who put a handcuffed suspect in a patrol SUV that was then hit by a train near Denver last year was found guilty of two misdemeanors Friday. Fort Lipton Police Officer Jordan Steinkel was convicted of reckless endangerment and third degree assault, but acquitted of a felony charge of criminal attempt to commit manslaughter. There is no responsible doubt that placing a handcuffed man in the back of a patrol car parked on the railroad tracks creates a substantial and unjustifiable risk of harm by the train judge Timothy Kearns said when reading the verdict after a weekend bench trial. Steinkel who had waived his excuse me her rights to have a case decided by jury laid her head on the table and sobbed after the verdict was read. In September, Steichel joined a traffic stop in which officers pulled over Ureni Rios Gonzalez. I hope I uh, pronounced that right. Who authorities said was suspected of brandishing a gun at another driver in a road rage case earlier in the evening. Steingel put Rios into the cruiser at uh, Platterville police officer Pablo Vasquez, who arrived first and parked in the middle of the railroad crossing. Body worn cameras and dash cameras video released by police showed Rios screaming for help as the train approaches and strike the tr vehicle. She suffered nine broken ribs and a broken arm in addition to other injuries. Ms. Rios respects the verdict in the case against Ms. Stangle, Stangle, excuse me, but believes the justice was done. Rio's attorney Chris Ponis told CNN on Friday. An attorney for Spangle argued in court that the officer couldn't have be held responsible because there were no there was no proof she was aware that she had placed the suspect in harm's way. How the f Hold on. What? Okay, let me continue. <laughs> Your Honor cannot hold a defendant responsible if she was actually aware of a risk, even if a responsible person would have perceived it. Defense attorney Erin O'Neill said Steinkel had argued throughout her testimony that she did not notice the location of the railroad tracks, despite multiple warning signs, including one next to where she parked her vehicle. She said she was too concerned about approaching a suspect who may have a gun to be fully aware of her surroundings. You can only divide your attention so much, Steinko testified. Officers were searching for Rio's truck, checking to see whether anyone else was in the vehicle before searching it for a weapon as the train approached. The Weird County District Attorney's Office said uh, on Friday declined to comment on the verdict. Stankel's attorney did not immediately respond to a uh, request for comment. Stankel's sentencing hearing is scheduled for September the 15th. Vasquez faces misdemeanor charges but hasn't entered a plea. Vasquez's next court date is September the 14th. Rio previously entered a no contest plea to misdemeanor menacing in connection with the road rage case and a felony charge was dropped her attorney told cnn okay so i have some questions um is don't they teach you about awareness 
and I, I will play the video. Uh, I will save your discretion is advised, but I'm going to play it towards the end. Don't they teach you about having awareness of your surroundings? Like, isn't that one of the main sticking points to always observe your environment in a situation, whether it be domestic, whether it be a traffic stop, whether it be, you know, you have to be aware of what's going on at all times. I thought that was part of the training. So you disregarded that because it was a suspect and you're not expected as a law enforcement officer to be aware of your surroundings. Um, but you had the presence of mind to show up when request for backup was called but as you were approaching the scene, you didn't take into account of the surroundings, the location, what was around you. Was this a public area? Was it a closed off area? Was it a restricted area, etc.? You get where I'm going with this? Like, I'm not buying it. And, but, you know, she did get convicted of two misdemeanors. Um... I don't feel that she should have gotten slacked when their training that they received is supposed to help them better to be able to read the situation. As a law enforcement officer, you cannot disregard where you are for many, many reasons. One being the simple fact that if you have to call additional backup, you have to know the location. You have to know where you are. You have to know the area or spot, cross street, etc., to be able to call in reinforcements if need be, if it was one of those situations. Then on top of that, it's like it's like I cannot believe what this woman, this woman is saying. Oh, she forgot because her main focus was that it was a suspect with a gun. Okay, that would make you more like, hey, all right, I got to check out the situation. I got to check out the area. Maybe there might be somebody else in the car. Maybe there might be someone else. You know, it looks like a pretty dark location from the video. So, uh, you know, I would like really scope out the area just to see if there was any other people just lingering around or anything like that it could have been a, a ambush or or anything you don't know you just know that it was a suspect with a gun and they called you for that girl bye but i'm about to play this video please don't forget to uh comment down in the uh comment section and come chop it up with me you know i love to hear from you please don't forget to like subscribe and share and without further ado here is the video for you guys Bitch, I know you fucking lying. Both of their ass need to go to jail. 
what? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. 